Okay, and I believe we are live again. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Virginia Junior Academy of Science 80th Annual Meeting and Research Symposium's Closing and Award Ceremony. My name is Sei Jong, and I am the Chairman of the Virginia Junior Academy of Science Board and Committee. Again, on behalf of our entire VJAS team, welcome to all the students, teachers, parents, for joining us live this morning. And just a note, if there's a glitch this morning, please check the BJS website for follow-up directions. Now, as you know, last week's opening welcome and lecture, as well as the presentation rooms and today's award ceremony seminar, webinar is generously hosted by the College of William and Mary. An amazing thank you to our local arrangements chair, Joshua Ehrlich, and a sincere thank you goes to the College of William & Mary. I also hope that you also enjoyed the Jeffers Lecture, Dr. Joel Levine, on the exploration and colonization of Mars last Friday. Of course, first things first, thank you and congratulations to all of our students who persevered last Saturday to present their research findings to their peers and judges. Thank you for everyone's patience in making a successful BJAS Research Symposium. Now let's get to the crux of my point this morning, which is no matter what happens at the award ceremony here today, whether you win an award or not, that's only a small slice of significance. What I want you to understand is the most critical, the most important part was last Saturday when you presented your scientific work in front of your fellow peers and judges. That is the most significant part of the Junior Academy. So congratulations again to each and every one of these students. And now that you're officially part of the VJAS family, a VJAS alumni, I hope that you think of us and the Senior Academy, the Virginia Academy of Science, as you move forward with your careers. You will be our future scientists, leaders, and decision makers. As I mentioned during my opening remarks, take note of today's current events, and I hope you will see just how important a sustained investment in scientific research and development is on our list of priorities. Now, I mentioned the Senior Academy. VJAS is a program under the Virginia Academy of Science. So another huge thank you goes to the Senior Academy for working with us to make this program happen each year. One, my one final thank you also goes to our hundreds of volunteers, including our readers, judges, special award judges, as well as countless others, including members on the VJS committee, and even some of you teacher sponsors for assisting to make this year's research symposium a success. And speaking of teachers, students, don't forget to thank them and your parents and your mentors. I still do and I'm 29. You should be always be thanking your teachers and your parents and your mentors for all the support that they give throughout the, throughout the year, every single day, um, giving you support. And speaking of myself, with the closing of Senior Academy's annual meeting yesterday, my second term as a chair of the VJS board and committee concluded. I have been involved with the Junior Academy as a high school student since 2007. Those were the days, those were the times. And I think this is a time where I give a special shout out to my uh, alma mater, Roanoke Valley Governor's School. But since then, I have been serving as the chairman for the past six years. I am enormously grateful to the many individuals that I have encountered and worked together through my tenure as chair. I have learned a great number of things and I want to say that my leadership helped in moving the Junior Academy forward. Now, the last 30 seconds sounded like my retirement memo, but I am honored to say that I have been reappointed to serve a third term, another three years with the Junior Academy. I am thankful for my reappointment and the trust in my leadership abilities given by the Virginia Academy of Science, and I look forward in continuing to transform the Junior Academy into an indomitable force for our young scientists across Virginia. I hope the 80th VJS Virtual Annual Meeting and Research Symposium was an enriching and engaging experience for everyone. 
And now without further ado, we will begin our award ceremony. We start off with a very special recognition this morning with the VJAS Scientific Community of Excellence Award. This is a special recognition presented to a scientific community for exceptionally outstanding commitment of volunteering, participation, and service to advance the mission of VJAS. This year, we are honored to recognize the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality, the DEQ, for their many years of involvement, which includes a significant number of past and present DEQ affiliated volunteers and judges in assisting VJAS. To accept this award and honor on behalf of the DEQ, I am pleased to introduce Jeffrey Steers, Director of Central Operations and an enthusiastic science supporter. Jeffrey, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, can you, I just wanna make sure everyone can hear me. All good. Great. Um, well, I appreciate very much uh, being able to participate with you all this morning. As they said, I am Jeff Steers and I am sitting in for our director, uh, David Paler, who cannot join us this morning. And I uh, first wanna say congratulations to the Academy for all the, all the great work that you do and the pipeline of student researchers for decades. Um, and I really wanna call out a, you know, special attention to this year's participants. And as was mentioned earlier, whether you win an award or not, you're, you're worthy of uh, recognition because you, you put a lot of hard work into uh, the, the projects and the research that you've done over the, over the last year. So uh, congratulations to everyone for your hard work. And even in this time of COVID, it didn't sound like it's deterred you at all for your intentions to learn and collaborate together. Uh, DQ has supported the activities of research of the Academy for many years because we love to hire scientists, technicians, engineers, mathematicians, and why do we hire the best? We need the best people. Um, our daily work as a regulatory agency goes just beyond enforcing regulations and writing permits. We do a lot to um, interpret uh, science and apply science on a daily basis, whether it's for clean air, clean water, uh, remediating contaminated groundwater. There's a lot of science and engineering into what our agency does and and we are the state version of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, so we work with Virginia science community in many ways. Uh, we have a lot of consultants and engineers that uh, work for different uh, permittees that we might deal with or other regulated community. Uh, for example, we have a technical advisory committees where we have meetings with citizens, legislators, lobbyists, environmental groups who tell us what pollutants to regulate and what not to regulate. Um, we have regulated uh, regulation advisory panels. We, we, uh, anytime we're going to uh, develop a new regulation, we involve the public, we involve science into those discussions into uh, what's the best path forward for addressing, addressing an environmental issue. Our scientists and engineers uh, issue environmental permits and help companies reduce pollution install innovation, innovative pollution control equipment and industrial processes to the best and most practical way to meet clean air, clean water, and clean land goals. Last week, our scientists were busy in communities across the state responding to emergencies and in solving problems. Staff were busy helping local governments contain a breach in a sewer main causing um, pollution into a uh, high quality stream in Southwest Virginia while also investigating issues at a landfill and remediating contaminated groundwater at another site. So it's important to us that we use and get students that are taking an interest in environmental science and research. You are our future. Uh, I understand from Executive Director Susan Booth that this year over 800 entries were submitted. 20 students applied for both the Henry W. McKenzie Environmental Scholarship and Francis and Sidney Lewis Environmental Scholarship, and 12 had been evaluated. Those evaluations were done by a team of three DEQ scientists led by Craig Lott, Sharon Baxter, and Megan Quinn of our staff. 
So whatever path you take, we want to congratulate you on this on your on a bright future with such great minds and hardworking participants as yourself. We look forward to your being part of our team in the future, helping to protect the environment in the next uh, decades ahead. So you are the future. Uh, congratulations for all the work you've done and um, in, enjoy the rest of, the, of this ceremony. Thank you very much. I'll turn it back over. Thank you, Jeff, for the words. And thank you to the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality again for your outstanding service and commitment of volunteering to BJAS. I did want to add that we appreciate also uh, rec this recognition and uh, we take that very, uh, very proudly. So thank you. Thank you. Now, I would like to introduce our MC for the award ceremony, Alan Booth, who was a participant of VJAS and a former student officer, including the position of VJAS student president to continue with the rest of the awards. Alan? Thank you, Say. And again, welcome students, teachers, parents, mentors, and other honored guests. It's an absolute pleasure to be back here this year, and we'll be starting with the Middle School Section Awards. Now, for those of you who don't know, we have quite a few sections here at the Virginia Junior Academy of Science. So before I start reading through some names and giving you the information that you're all here today for, uh, there's a few things I'd like to cover. One, we'll be going through the sections in alphabetical order, starting first with the middle school section awards and then proceeding to the high school section awards. Special awards, as per tradition, will be last in the ceremony today. Even though your paper and presentation may appear in an earlier section, I encourage you to stay for the entire ceremony. The students receiving awards today and the students in attendance are not just your peers and your classmates, but your future colleagues in the field of science. And all of you have done tremendous work this year. We all know that the circumstances might be less than ideal. Um, you might not have been able to work in a lab like you might have hoped, but despite that, all of you here today persevered, engaged in citizen science, and wrote some truly phenomenal papers and gave even better presentations. So a brief congratulations, and without any further ado, let's begin with the section of animal and human science. An honorable mention goes to Ahana Puri of George H. Moody Middle School. An honorable mention in the section of animal and human science also goes to Patrick Jimenez, of Gunston Middle School. An honorable mention goes to Addison Cofran of George H. Moody Middle School. Third place goes to Nishorgo Sakar of George H. Moody Middle School. Second place to Samantha Lionberger of George H. Moody Middle School. And first place in the section of animal and human science is presented to Rania Latif of Louise A. Benton Middle School. Congratulations to all the winners in this section. In the section of chemical sciences, an honorable mention is awarded to Sanvi Chawla of George H. Moody Middle School. An honorable mention is also presented to Alexander Thomas of Swanson Middle School. An honorable mention is presented to Myra Clark of Williamsburg Middle School. Third place in the section of chemical sciences is awarded to Ira Prakash of George H. Moody Middle School. Second place is awarded to Julie Marco and Daisy Maxwell of Swanson Middle School. And first place in the section of chemical sciences is awarded to Ophelia Tolchinsky of Dorothy Ham Middle School. Congratulations to all the winners in chemical sciences. Moving on, our next section is ecology and earth sciences. In this section, an honorable mention is awarded to Emma Hemsch of Dorothy Hand Middle School. Also receiving an honorable mention, Aditya Badrian of George H. Moody Middle School. Anna Mohanty of Williamsburg Middle School also receives an honorable mention. 
Third place in the section of Ecology and Earth Sciences is awarded to Nadia Lakhab of Dorothy Hand Middle School. Second place to Dylan Tallis of Thomas Jefferson Middle School. And first place in the section of Ecology and Earth Sciences is awarded to Annabelle Van Son of George H. Moody Middle School. In the category of Engineering and Technology, an honorable mention is awarded to Isla Wearmouth of Kenmore Middle School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Amoth Son Chiefmath of Short Pump Middle School. Jaren Earl of Thomas Jefferson Middle School also receives an honorable mention in this category. Third place in Engineering and Technology is awarded to Lucy Liu of Ronald Reagan Middle School. Second place is awarded to Krish Gupta of Swanson Middle School. And first place in the category of Engineering and Technology is awarded to Camelia Sharma of George H. Moody Middle School. In the category of Human Behavior, first place is awarded to Zara Musa of Williamsburg Middle School. Congratulations, Zara. Moving on to the category of mathematics, patterns and relationships. Third place is awarded to Zarif Said of Ronald Reagan Middle School. Second place is awarded to Satwick Nath of George H. Moody Middle School. And first place in the category of mathematics, patterns and relationships is awarded to Henry Steveter of Swanson Middle School. In the category of physical science and astronomy, an honorable mention is awarded to Sanaya Bothra of George H. Moody Middle School. An honorable mention in this category is also awarded to Abmiv Gita of George H. Moody Middle School. An honorable mention in this category is also awarded to Livia Coots of Ronald Reagan Middle School. Third place in the category goes to Tess Vitulkas of George H. Moody Middle School. Second place is awarded to Alexander Kurgan of George H. Moody Middle School. And first place in the category of physical science and astronomy is awarded to Dorothy Huang and Theodore Huang Gunston. I apologize. Dorothy Huang and Theodore Huang of Gunston Middle School. Congratulations to all the winners in this category. Moving on to plant science and microbiology. An honorable mention is awarded to Jaya Shah of Williamsburg Middle School. An honorable mention is awarded to Alice Zhang of George H. Moody Middle School. An honorable mention is awarded to Aditya Banerjee of George Moody Middle School. Third place to Lucy Yoder of Savitt at Stoding Point. Second place is awarded to Cameron Joyce of George Moody Middle School. And first place in the category of plant science and microbiology is awarded to Dipanshi Kumar of George H. Moody Middle School. Congratulations to all the winners in all our middle school sections. We now begin the high school section awards. In the category of botany, section A, an honorable mention is awarded to Julia Hudgens of Mills E. Godwin High School. An honorable mention is awarded to Estelle Hay of Mills E. Godwin High School. An honorable mention is awarded to Maria Angel Zamora of Mills E. Godwin High School. Third place goes to Matthew Hussan of Washington Liberty High School. Second place to Bhavana Adhikari of Mills E. Godwin High School. And first place in the category of botany, section A, is awarded to Beverly Aborn of Central Virginia Governor's School. In the category of botany, section B, an honorable mention is awarded to Navitri Vanga of Mills E. Godwin High School. An honorable mention is awarded to Abby Madsen of Chesapeake Bay Governor's School. An honorable mention is awarded to Ankita Mandel of Mills E. Godwin High School. Third place goes to Angela Nguyen of Mills E. Godwin High School. Second place is awarded to Arlie Wagoner of Central Virginia Governor's School. 
And first place in the category of botany, Section B, is awarded to Carson Ray and Daniel Hahn of Roanoke Valley Governor's School. Congratulations to all the winners in both sections of botany. In the category of chemistry, Section A, an honorable mention is awarded to Raymond Dion of Washington Liberty High School. An honorable mention is awarded to Richard Chen of Washington Liberty High School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Sydney Kaufman of Mills E. Godwin High School. Third place in the category of chemistry, Section A is awarded to Cherish Bland of Clover Hill High School. Second place goes to Zaid Contractor of Mills E. Godwin High School. And the first place in Section A of chemistry is awarded to Julia Brodsky of H.B. Woodlawn. Moving now to Section B of chemistry, an honorable mention is awarded to Arjun Modi of Mills E. Godwin High School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Naomi Lindsay of Wakefield High School. Third place in this section goes to Lakin Evans of Mills E. Godwin High School. Second place is awarded to Hannah Kim of Central Virginia Governor School. And in first place, we have a tie. One of our first places goes to Atish Sati and Jasmine Ayapong of Governor's School at Innovation Park. And first place in the section is awarded to Thanvi Parupati of Mills E. Godwin High School. Congratulations to all our winners in both sections of chemistry. Moving now to section A of engineering. An honorable mention is awarded to Richard Jones of Clover Hill High School. Zachary Burgess of Clover Hill High School also receives an honorable mention. Mia Constantine of Harrisonburg High School receives an honorable mention. And Ayul Burhanu of Washington Liberty High School also receives an honorable mention in this section. Third place in Section A of Engineering is awarded to Nitin Kanuri of Mills E. Godwin High School. Second place goes to Naman Agarwal of Patriot High School. And first place in Section A of Engineering is awarded to Brock Duma of Blacksburg High School. In Section B of Engineering, an honorable mention is awarded to Teddy Liu of Central Virginia Governor's School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Grace Luz of Mills E. Godwin High School. Ina Lynch of Central Virginia Governor School also receives an honorable mention. In third place, we have Gwyneth Liu of Mills E. Godwin High School. Second place is awarded to Laasa Konidala of Mills E. Godwin High School. And first place in Section B of Engineering, is awarded to Chiryu Namonkar of Mills E. Godwin High School. In Section C of Engineering, an honorable mention is awarded to Tariq Sedu of Central Virginia Governor's School. Also receiving an honorable mention is Pravalika Pulapatu of Thomas Jefferson High School. Also receiving an honorable mention is Andrew Tabor of Central Virginia Governor's School. In third place, we have Jade Persona of Central Virginia Governor's School. Second place in this section is awarded to Fareed Sharif of Mills E. Godwin High School. And first place in Section C of Engineering is awarded to Dara Shihan and Kimball Shihan of Western Albemarle High School. Congratulations to the winners in all our sections of engineering. Moving now to Section A of Earth and Environmental Science. An honorable mention is awarded to Isla Carlson of Wakefield High School. Also receiving an honorable mention is Margaret Collins of Chesapeake Bay Governor School. In third place for this section, we have a tie between Kylie Berry of Chesapeake Bay Governor School and Thomas Appleson of Washington Liberty High School. Second place in this section is awarded to Amulya Chowdhury of Mills E. Godwin High School. And first place in this section is awarded to Sydney Baker of Chesapeake Bay Governor School. In section B of Earth and Environmental Science, an honorable mention is awarded to Amar Dunham of Chesapeake Bay Governor School. Also receiving an honorable mention is Serena Grant of Mills E. Godwin High School. 
also receiving an honorable mention, Tomas Gao of Mills E. Godwin High School. In third place, we have Madison Goak of Washington Liberty High School. Second place is awarded to Chelsea Hu of Basis Independent McLean. And in first place, we have Sarah Holt of Central Virginia Governor School. In section C of Earth and Environmental Science, an honorable mention is awarded to Madeline Junker of Chesapeake Bay Governor School. Also receiving an honorable mention is Lillian Moo of Washington Liberty High School. Also receiving an honorable mention, Eugene Kemp of Central Virginia Governor School. In third place, we have Ella Lewis of Central Virginia Governor School. Second place to Arian Mahosker of Mills E. Godwin High School. And first place in this section is awarded to Eleanor Little of Roanoke Valley Governor School. Congratulations to Earth, to all our winners in Earth and Environmental Science. I believe I spoke too soon. There is a section D in Earth and Environmental Science. And in fact, it appears there is also a section E in Earth and Environmental Science. So if I gave you a bit of a heart attack there, please forgive me. We'll begin with the honorable mentions in Earth and Environmental Science, section D. An honorable mention is awarded to Kayla Schill of Chesapeake Bay Governor's School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Ananya of Sinha of Arlington Tech. An honorable mention also goes to Snahitha Ravilla of Mills E. Godwin High School. Third place to Taylor Rice of Chesapeake Bay Governor's School. Second place goes to Harriet Shapiro of Washington Liberty High School. And first place in Section D of Earth and Environmental Science is awarded to Cameron Sharma of Mills E. Godwin High School. In Section E of Earth and Environmental Science, an honorable mention is awarded to Lonnie Stroud of Yorktown High School. An honorable mention is awarded to Jeffrey Wooters of Central Virginia Governor School. Our first third place in this section goes to Rose Yang of Mills E. Godwin High School. Our second third place is awarded to Lydia Wallace of Chesapeake Bay Governor School. Second place is awarded to Adam Steveter of Washington Liberty High School. And first place in Section E of Earth and Environmental Science is awarded to Lynn Dow of Thomas Jefferson High School. Congratulations to all our Earth and Environmental Science section winners. This time, I actually mean it. Moving now to the category of Mathematics, Theoretical, and Modeling. An honorable mention is awarded to Jacqueline Wang of Blacksburg High School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Mahin Aturu of Millsy Godwin High School. Our third honorable mention is awarded to Christopher Baer of Chesapeake Bay Governor School. Third place in this section is awarded to Samhita Vinay and Kirtana Yalamanchili of Thomas Jefferson High School. Second place to Tony Bright, Hamza Latif, and Gabriel Austin of Charles J. Colgan High School. And first place in the category of mathematics, theoretical and modeling is awarded to Lillian Sun of Thomas Jefferson High School. Congratulations to all our mathematics section winners. In the category of medicine and health, section A, our honorable mention goes to Miriam Elgendi of Washington Liberty High School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Jacob Baer of Washington Liberty High School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Sarah Bowles of Washington Liberty High School. Third place in this category goes to Parisa Ashar of Maggie L. Walker Governor School. Second place to Malik Ben Hamuda of Washington Liberty High School. And first place in Section A of Medicine and Health is awarded to Minashi Ambati of Albanar High School. In Section B of Medicine and Health, an honorable mention is awarded to Pranav Jolti of Central Virginia Governor's School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Lance Martin of Central Virginia Governor's School. 
An honorable mention in this category is also awarded to Katerina Leedy of Blacksburg High School. Third place goes to Holly Hinchy and Ella Bryant of Roanoke Valley Governor School. Second place in this category is awarded to Ashwin Jory of Collegiate School. And first place in Section B of Medicine and Health goes to Ikra Ahmad, Karen Zaire Gonzaga, and Tu Thien Luong of Governor School at Innovation Park. In Section C of Medicine and Health, an honorable mention goes to Ryan Remius of Clover Hill High School. An honorable mention also goes to Anju Natarajan of Collegiate School. An honorable mention goes to Leanne Ranger of Central Virginia Governor School. And we also have an honorable mention for Alina Rastigar of Mills E. Godwin High School. Third place in this section is awarded to Maggie Matson of Clover Hill High School. Second place to Pranav Ravella and Sawisk Ramanini of Thomas Jefferson High School. And first place in the section C of Medicine and Health goes to Charles Redding of Clover Hill High School. Moving now to section D of Medicine and Health. An honorable mention is awarded to Ashka Shah of Maggie L. Walker Governor School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Lauren Rylander of Washington Liberty High School. An honorable mention also goes to Owen Tucker of Ocean Lakes High School Mathematics and Science Academy. Third place in Section D of Medicine and Health is awarded to Annabelle Tang of Maggie L. Walker Governor School. Second place in this section is awarded to Yash Saxena of Maggie L. Walker Governor School. And first place in Section D of Medicine and Health is awarded to Avery Rourke of Central Virginia Governor School. In Section Pardon me. Congratulations to all our section winners in medicine and health. Our next section is microbiology and cell biology, beginning with section A. An honorable mention goes to Harish Ganesh of Thomas Jefferson High School. Third place in this category goes to Ryan Beck of Central Virginia Governor's School. Second place for this category is a tie between Ella Cohane of Washington Liberty High School and Caitlin Collett of Southwest Virginia Governor School. First place in this section is also a tie. Shared between Brooke Coleman of Central Virginia Governor School and Diana Kirilov of Mills E. Godwin High School. Moving now to section B of microbiology and cell biology. Our first honorable mention is awarded to Mihir Pokiro of Mills E. Godwin High School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Averett Yodge of Mills E. Godwin High School. An honorable mention is awarded to Hannah Luz of Mills E. Godwin High School. Third place in this section goes to Reagan Morford of Central Virginia Governor School. Second place is awarded to Liam Taha of Mills E. Godwin High School. And first place in section B of microbiology and cell biology goes to Monona Zhu of Mills E. Godwin High School. Congratulations to our microbiology and cell biology winners. In the category of physics and astronomy, an honorable mention is awarded to Jillian Nyland of Central Virginia Governor's School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Madeline Cheetah of Clover Hill High School. An honorable mention also goes to Kaylin Quinn Nguyen and Simran Patibanda of Governor's School at Innovation Park. Third place in this section is awarded to Envita Kordapati of Millsy Godwin High School. Second place goes to William Graff of Thomas Jefferson High School. And first place in the category of physics and astronomy is awarded to Sam Watchman of Arlington Tech. Our next category is psychology, beginning with section A. An honorable mention is awarded to Kelsey Henry of Chesapeake Bay Governor's School. Also receiving an honorable mention, Eric Coppy of Central Virginia Governor's School. Kate DeVitt of Millsy Godwin High School also receives an honorable mention. In third place, we have Cameron Gilmore 
of Blacksburg High School. Second place in this section is awarded to Sarah Blair of Central Virginia Governor's School. And first place in section A of psychology is awarded to Madison Lilly of Southwest Virginia Governor's School. Moving now to section B of psychology, an honorable mention is awarded to Jade Riddle of Southwest Virginia Governor's School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Ella Weselowski of Central Virginia Governor's School. An honorable mention is awarded to Elliot Putnam of Central Virginia Governor's School. Third place in this category goes to Amanda Powell of Central Virginia Governor's School. Second place is awarded to Lauren Vosen of Central Virginia Governor's School. And first place in Section B of Psychology is awarded to Alex Taylor of Central Virginia Governor's School. Congratulations to all our psychology section winners. Moving now to the category of statistical analysis and inferences. An honorable mention is awarded to Eric Chi of Blacksburg High School. An honorable mention is also awarded to Ellen Habtayonis of Blacksburg High School. An honorable mention is awarded to Colin Berry of Yorktown High School. Third place in this section goes to Bethany Duncan of Central Virginia Governor's School. Second place is awarded to Ashwitha Surabi of Thomas Jefferson High School. And first place in the category of statistical analysis and inferences is awarded to Ambika Sharma of Washington Liberty High School. Congratulations to all our winners in the sec section of statistical analysis and inferences. In the category of zoology, an honorable mention is awarded to Varun Yuri of Mills E. Godwin High School. Also receiving an honorable mention, Alicia Carvalho and Lyala Sophie of Roanoke Valley Governor School. An honorable mention in zoology also goes to Uya Nitron of Roanoke Valley Governor School. An honorable mention in the category of zoology also goes to Shreel Gowala of Mills E. Godwin High School. Our third place winner in the section or category of zoology is Maroon Nal Kute of Mills E. Godwin High School. Second place in this category is awarded to Julie Fitzgerald of Central Virginia Governor's School. And first place in the category of zoology is awarded to Sean Latif of Thomas Jefferson High School. Congratulations to all our winners in the category of zoology. We move now to the first place category section awards. These awards are given to the best papers as determined by either the section judges or if there are multiple sections by a group of honor judges. Our first award in this category is the VAS Botany Award given by the Botany Section of the Virginia Academy of Science to the best paper on a botanical subject. This year, it is awarded to Carlson Ray and Daniel Hahn of Roanoke Valley Governor School for their paper, The Synergistic Allopathic Effects of Extracts from Two Invasive Species on Germination and Growth of R. sativus, and Beverly Aborn of Central Virginia Governor's School for her paper on the effect of added polyamines on glycine max responses to drought. Congratulations to all three of these students. Our next award is the Rodney C. Berry Chemistry Award, given for the paper that evidences the most significant contribution in the field of chemistry. This year it is awarded to Thanvi Parupati of Mills E. Godwin High School for their paper, The Effect of the Form of Heat Resistant Product on the Heat Damage of the Hair, and Julia Brodsky of H.B. Woodlawn for their paper, Optimization of an Electrocoagulation System for the Removal of Polyatomic Ions from Water. The William W. Berry Engineering Award is given by Dominion Energy in honor of Mr. William W. Berry, a past chairman of the Board of Virginia Power. This year, the, awarded, the award is given to Brock Duma of Blacksburg High School for his paper, White Water Helmet Star, 
evaluating biomechanical performance and risk of head injury for whitewater helmets, Chiru Namonkar of Mills E. Godwin High School for their paper, The Effect of Rat Brain Phantom Construction on Mimicry of the True Brain Model, and Dara Shihan and Kimball Shihan of Western Albemarle High School for their paper, The Investigation of the Tumorcidal Facts of Somodynamic Therapy in Malignant Glioblastoma Brain Tumors. Our next award is the Ann M. Hancock Cellular Biology Award given to the best paper in cellular biology and presented in memory of Ann M. Hancock, who retired from Patrick Henry High School in Hanover County and who gave many years of service to the Junior Academy, not only by her teaching, but also by serving on the Junior Academy Committee. This year, this awarded to Monona Zhu of Millsy Godwin High School for their paper on the effect of coronavirus species on the binding strength to a neutralizing antibody. The Mathematics Award is given for the paper that evidences the most significant contribution in the field of mathematics. And this year, it is presented to Lillian Sun of Thomas Jefferson High School for their paper, The De Novo Prediction of RNA Protein Interactions for Discovery of Tissue-Specific Binding Sites. Our next award is the Statistics Award, given for the paper that evidences the most significant contribution in the field of statistics and this year presented to Ambika Sharma of Washington Liberty High School for their paper on the effect of algorithm-based neural network machine learning on the projection of the basis and progression of Alzheimer's disease. The VABE Zoology Award is presented by the Virginia Association of Biology Educators for outstanding research in the zoology section. This year it is presented to Sean Latif of Thomas Jefferson High School for their paper, What's All the Buzz? Drosophilia Melanogaster as a Unique Model for Addiction Disorders and Physiology After Traumatic Brain Injury. We now move to the Special Interest Awards. Students choose to apply for these awards and will be judged by special panels. If an award is not given in any given year, it is because no papers were received meeting the standards of the award. Our first special interest award is the Cancer Research Award, given to recognize outstanding science papers related to cancer research and provided by the American Cancer Society. This year, it's presented to Lillian Sun of Thomas Jefferson High School for their paper, De Novo Prediction of RNA Protein Interactions for Discovery of Tissue-Specific Binding Sites. Also receiving a Cancer Research Award, is Anju Natarajan of Collegiate School for their paper, Comprehensive Computational Genomic Analysis of 1,134 Samples to Understand Genomic Alterations and Their Influence on Outcome in Colorectal Cancer, a Retrospective Study. Also receiving a Cancer Research Award, La Asaya Konidala of Mills E. Godwin High School for their paper, a novel integrative WSI-based framework for breast cancer molecular classification. Congratulations to all our recipients of the Cancer Research Awards. The Dr. and Mrs. Preston H. Leak Award in Applied Chemistry is given to the author of a research paper which best exemplifies how chemicals, chemical principles, or chemistry have been used, are used, or might be used to enhance or even to save life. This year, it is presented to Nishant Mopuru of Millsy Godwin High School for the effect of different pesticides containing heavy metals on the transpiration rate of Vigna unguglata. The Roscoe Hughes Genetics Award is given for the best paper in the field of genetics. And this year it's presented to London Page of Roanoke Valley Governor's School for their paper, Investigating Alternatives to Conventional Chronic Kidney Disease Treatment Through Analysis of Differential Gene Expression. The Gamma Sigma Delta Award 
of the Virginia Tech chapter of the Honor Society of Agriculture is given to a student in recognition of excellence in research dealing with application of new technologies and or concepts in agriculture, forestry, or veterinary medicine. And this year, it's presented to Mia Constantine of Harrisonburg High School for their paper, Small Scale Vertical Farming. The Dr. Smith Shadamy Infectious Diseases Award is given to commemorate Dr. Smith Shadamy by the Virginia chapter of the National Foundation for Infectious Diseases to the paper that evidences outstanding research in the field of infectious diseases. This year it's presented to Atish Sethi of the Governor's School at Innovation Park for their paper, a new treatment, an analysis of the effect of known phytochemicals on SARS-CoV-2 pathogenesis. The Virginia Museum of Natural History Award is presented by the Friends of the Virginia Museum of Natural History in recognition of a significant contribution in the study and interpretation of our Commonwealth's natural heritage. And this year it's presented to Abby Madsen of Chesapeake Bay Governor's School for their paper, Like an Abundance and Diversity in Cemetery Environments. The Virginia Sea Grant College Program Award is given by the Virginia Sea Grant College Program for outstanding marine or coastal research. And this year it's presented to Margaret Collins of Chesapeake Bay Governor's School for their paper, a comparison of Littoraria irrorata populations along the Rappahannock River. Congratulations to all our special interest award winners. We move now to the winners of scholarships. The Bethel High School Scholarship is a scholarship of $1,000 awarded to a student in grades nine to 12 and not 18 project, which has produced an outstanding written paper and is a first place winner. The money is paid to the student's college or university in two equal payments during the first year. It comes from interest earned on a $10,000 endowment contributed to the Virginia Junior Academy of Science by the students of Bethel High School, Hampton, Virginia. And this year, it is presented to Lillian Sun of Thomas Jefferson High School for their paper, De Novo Prediction of RNA Protein Interactions for Discovery of Tissue-Specific Binding Sites. Congratulations, Lillian. Next, we present scholarships from the Virginia Environmental Endowment, and we have a brief message from VEE Director, Joe Maroon. Good morning. I'm Joe Maroon, the Executive Director of the Virginia Environmental Endowment, and it's great to be with you today. Like many of you, I wish we were meeting in person for this award ceremony. But on behalf of the Virginia Environmental Endowment, I wanna give a shout out to the organizers and the judges the teachers and especially to all the students who made the effort to participate in the Junior Academy program during this challenging year. You're all winners in our book. Allow me to say a brief word about VEE. The endowment is a private grant making foundation based in Richmond. In 2017, we celebrated our 40th anniversary. We opened our doors for business on February the 1st, 1977 before most of you were even born. We were the first philanthropic foundation in the nation to focus exclusively on the environment. <laughs> and although we have made well over 1400 grants that have resulted in nearly $140 million in environmental improvements, many Virginians are unaware of the endowment's unique beginnings, its impact on the Commonwealth's natural resources and the role it continues to play. While I don't have time to go into it now, I suggest that you check out our website, www.vee.org, if you're interested in learning more about the endowment. In fact, you may also see some pictures of past scholarship winners on that site. Nowadays, our focus is on supporting projects and organizations that improve local water quality, restore Chesapeake Bay, advanced land, land conservation, enhance environmental literacy, increase awareness of environmental issues, 
and respond to emerging concerns such as our changing climate and coastal resilience. Every year since 1984, that's a long time, the Virginia Environmental Endowment has provided two college scholarships to the deserving high school students. To date, the endowment has awarded nearly $700,000 in scholarship funds to 72 high school students. The scholarship programs are administered by our great partner, the Virginia Junior Academy of Science, and are named in honor of three founding members of VEE's board of directors. The first is the Francis and Sidney Lewis Environmental Science Scholarship. It is a $5,000 four-year scholarship awarded to the student whose project presented at the annual VJAS Research Symposium evidences the most significant contribution in the field of environmental science. The Henry McKenzie Jr. Environmental Scholarship is also a $5,000 four-year college scholarship that is awarded to a student whose project presented at the research symposium enhances the most significant contribution in the field of environmental science dealing with the James River and the Chesapeake Bay. My own interest in the environment began in high school. It was nurtured in college and it led me to serve to serving over 35 years in leadership positions in state government, in private conservation organizations, and for the last eight years as the executive director of VEE. Until recently, I also taught graduate level classes in environmental policy at UVA and Virginia Tech. So you never know where your interest in the environment may lead you. Speaking of college, you may also be interested in knowing, especially once you're a little older, that in addition to high school scholarships, VEE also has partnered with the Virginia Sea Grant Program to establish a new mentoring and on-the-job training program called the Commonwealth Coastal and Marine Science Fellowship. That program places college students who have received master's uh, or their doctorate degree in a Virginia State Natural Resource Agency for a one-turn internship so that they can see what it's like to work on environmental stewardship within state government. So we hope this is another opportunity that some of you will take advantage of when the time comes. Now for the matter at hand, since I'm not able to be there with you in person, I will turn the program back over to the MC to announce the winner of the two awards Thank you and congratulations to the winners. We begin with the Henry McKenzie Environmental Scholarship. This $5,000 scholarship is awarded to the student whose paper evidences the most significant contribution in the field of environmental science dealing with the James River Basin and Chesapeake Bay. The Virginia Environmental Endowment and VJS offer this scholarship in tribute to the outstanding and generous services of Judge Henry W. McKenzie Jr., one of the founding directors who has a great direct interest in the James River and the Chesapeake Bay. This year, it is presented to Lynn Dow of Thomas Jefferson High School for their paper, The Effect of Impervious Surfaces on Steam Health, a study of machine learning and multivariate statistical analysis. We move now to the Francis and Sidney Lewis Environmental Scholarship, a $5,000 scholarship for the best effort by a student in grades nine to 12 in the field of environmental science. The scholarship is the name of Francis and Sidney Lewis presented by the Virginia Environmental Endowment and is presented this year to Ella Lewis of Central Virginia Governor School for their paper, The Effect of Plastic on the Growth of Raphanus Sativus. The Virginia Junior Academy of Science Honor Awards are the highest awards that the Virginia Junior Academy of Science presents. Special panels of honors judges evaluate the projects and determine awards. 
As a brief reminder, the Virginia Junior Academy of Science was founded by the Virginia Academy of Science in 1941 to foster original research in both Virginia's middle and high schools. Numbering more than 100 affiliated schools, we try to provide a national model for state junior science academies, bringing together secondary school students with researchers at Virginia colleges, universities each year. These are the students that we feel exemplify some of the best work in any given year. Unfortunately, due to the current financial constraints and uncertainty of the times, monetary awards normally directly supported by the Virginia Junior Academy of Science and Virginia Academy of Science won't be presented this year. However, we still find it important to recognize the outstanding work of the following students. The Dorothy Knowlton Award is given to the middle school student and her team presenting the best project in the life and earth sciences. It is given in honor of Dorothy Knowlton, the former science coordinator of Arlington County, who was instrumental in advancing experimental design within the science curriculum. And this year, the Dorothy Knowlton Award is presented to Annabelle Van Salm of George H. Moody Middle School for their paper, The Effect of Silver Nanoparticles on the Death Rate of Adult Daphnia Magna. The Joyce K. Peterson Award is given to the middle school student or team presenting the best project in the physical sciences. The award is given in honor of Joyce Peterson, an outstanding teacher in the Arlington County Schools. And this year, it's awarded to Camelia Sharma of George Moody Middle School for their paper, The Effect of Machine Learning Algorithms on Counting the Fish Population. The Outstanding Eighth Grade Research Project is given to the eighth grade student or team presenting the best project. And this year, we are proud to present it to Camelia Sharma of George Moody Middle School for their paper, The Effect of Machine Learning Algorithms on Counting the Fish Population. Congratulations. The Virginia Junior Academy of Science Grand Middle School Award is given to the middle school student or team presenting the best project. And this year, it's presented to Annabelle Van Sound of George H. Moody Middle School for their paper, The Effect of Silver Nanoparticles on the Death Rate of Adult Daphnia Magna. Congratulations to all our Middle School Honor Award winners. We now move to the Honor Awards for high schools. These are the highest awards that the Virginia Junior Academy of Science presents in a given year. Special panels of judges evaluate the projects and determine the awards. We'll begin with the Catsby Jones Award, given to the individual senior, a 12th grade student presenting the best project. And this year it's presented to Sean Latif of Thomas Jefferson High School for their paper, What's All the Buzz? Drosophilia melanogaster as a unique model for addiction disorders and physiology after traumatic brain injury. Congratulations to Sean. We next present the Virginia Junior Academy of Science Grand High School Award, grades nine through 12, for the top research project by an individual or team of students in grades nine or 12. And this award is presented to Sean Latif of Thomas Jefferson High School for their paper, What's All the Buzz? Drosophilia melanogaster as a unique model for addiction disorders and physiology after traumatic brain injury. We next present the Virginia Junior Academy of Science delegates to the American Junior Academy of Science, selected from students between grades nine and 11. These delegates are selected by a panel of honor judges from among students in grades nine and 11, and 10, I suppose, who won first place in a high school section. The projects are ranked from one to four. The winners, our delegates in a given year are the first and second ranked projects. The third and fourth ranked projects are deemed as alternates in the case that the first or second ranked projects are unable to attend. Regarding attendance at the American Junior Academy of Science, 
The VJS delegates are given a certificate and an invitation to represent our organization at the annual meeting of the AJAS and to present at a poster session. Students who represent the Commonwealth of Virginia are required to attend all activities and house with other students if applicable. When finances permit, cash awards are given to each individual or a team to help defray their expenses. The cash award is the same for an individual or a team. So if a team is selected, they will need to determine who will represent the team or provide their own funding for other team members. The VJS delegates to the AJAS are Minakshi Ambati of Albemarle High School and Cameron Sharma of Mills E. Godwin High School. Minakshi Ambati for their paper, Identification of Fluoxetine as a Direct NLRP3 Inhibitor to Treat Atrophic Macular degener Degeneration, Molecular Modeling, Mechanism, Morphometry, and Meta-Analysis and Cameron Sharma for the effect of surface dynamics on atmospheric water harvesting. Congratulations to them both. The alternates are Lynn Dow of Thomas Jefferson High School and Brock Duma of Blacksburg High School. For their papers, the effect of impervious surfaces on stream health, a study of machine learning and multivariate statistical analysis and white water helmet star evaluating the biomechanical performance and risk of head injury for whitewater helmets. The Ertl Thompson Memorial Endowment Award is established to honor Dr. Ertl Thompson, a longtime leader of the Virginia Junior Academy of Science and former president of the Virginia Academy of Science. When circumstances allow, these awards are presented annually to the winners selected as the VJS delegates to the AJS to help support their attendance at the annual meeting of the AJAS and AAAS, the American Association for the Advancement of Sciences. The Ertl Thompson Memorial Endowment is presented to Minakshi Ambati of Albemarle High School and Cameron Sharma of Millsy Godwin High School. Our next award is the Dr. R. Dean Decker Honorary. It is award of $500 to go to the teacher or sponsor of the two top student winners of the American Junior Academy of Science trip invitation delegates. The monies can be used at the discretion of the recipients as long as it is related to attendance at the AJS meeting. Re guidelines will follow later. This year, the Dr. R. Dean Decker Honorarium is presented to Dr. Bradley Gelfin and Heather Martin. We move now to awards for sponsors. Students, as you may know, or perhaps have realized, it would be impossible for any of you to attend or participate in the Virginia Junior Academy of Science without the support of your sponsors. If you haven't already, I encourage you to thank them not only in person, but to write them a short letter. It means the world to them, not only seeing you succeed, but seeing that their contribution meant something to you in the long run. I know personally that I would not be where I am today without the help of many teachers and individuals. We begin with the Franklin D. Kaiser Distinguished Service Award, recognizing the exceptional contributions to the Virginia Junior Academy of Science of a STEM teacher. The award has the following criteria. The recipient must be a teacher who has contributed to the Junior Academy of Science by sponsoring student research projects, serving as a reader, judge, and or member of the VJS committee. The teacher must be nominated and chosen by the VJS committee, and the award will be used for professional development. The recipient will propose a professional development activity to the director of the VJS with acceptable proposals ranging from attendance at a professional meeting to tuition for a science or math course or software to enhance their teaching effectiveness. This year, the winner of the Franklin D. Kaiser Distinguished Service Award is Michael J. Walniak of Hampton Sydney College. Congratulations. The Franklin D. Kaiser Science Teacher of Tomorrow Award recognizes an outstanding Virginia science teacher and provides an opportunity for professional development through attendance at the annual Virginia Association of Science Teachers meeting. 
The recipient is a teacher with a maximum of five years of teaching experience who must have sponsored student participation at the VJS annual meeting and the award must be used to support their professional development by providing the funds needed to attend the annual Virginia Association of Science Teachers meeting. This year, the award is presented to Elizabeth Wood of Washington Liberty High School. Congratulations, Elizabeth. We move now to our Outstanding Service Awards, recognizing exceptional contributions to the Virginia Junior Academy of Science. Our first Outstanding Service Award is the Virginia Academy of Science Honorary Membership, which includes one year's membership in the Virginia Academy of Science, a subscription to the Virginia, Junior, uh, Virginia Journal of Science, and is awarded for outstanding service to the Junior Academy and the Virginia Junior Academy of Science Committee. This year, the honorary membership is presented to Sean Latif. Next, we present the Virginia Junior Academy of Science Distinguished Service Award, a special certificate presented to a person for exceptional service to the Virginia Junior Academy of Science. The individual is recognized at this research symposium and is the most prestigious award that the Virginia Junior Academy of Science Committee gives. This year, it is presented to Joshua Ehrlich of the College of William and Mary. Congratulations, Joshua. I believe Joshua is with us today. Wow, uh, thanks everyone. This is wholly unexpected. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say except uh, thank you. It's been a great privilege for me to, uh, uh, to work with the committee uh, to help organize this event. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. This is truly unexpected. Uh, I would have dressed better had I known. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you, Josh, um, for basically hanging in there with us for months to get this symposium to be a success. So we look forward to William and Mary next year. And actually I'm going to toss it to Dr. Michael Woliniak who won our Kaiser Distinguished Service Award. He has a few words um, of, for the Academy but also I would like to hear his comments about the Distinguished Service, the Kaiser Distinguished Service Award. Well, thank you very much. Um, that was a, uh, a very pleasant surprise and I do appreciate it. Um, we have been working at the uh, Senior Academy um, to I think be more educationally focused and to do what we can um, to provide as much support as we can, not only to make the Junior Academy um, programming as successful as possible, but also to improve participation across the entire Commonwealth so that um, no matter where you live from mountain to sea or north to south, you will have uh, the opportunity to participate and to excel in the Junior Academy. So um, thank you for that. And on behalf of the Senior Academy, um, oh, and an extra congratulations to Alan Booth for pronouncing my name correct all of them at some point and it's good for him. Um, I want to thank you on behalf of the Senior Academy for uh, attending uh, this meeting. As many people have mentioned to you already, um, we are in the most unusual of times. Uh, you guys will have amazing stories to tell your own children about um, your experiences while you were in middle school and high school. And I encourage you to be inspired by the work you've done. Um, whether you won an award or not, uh, you have made huge strides towards building a career for yourself in the sciences. And this country is gonna need all the scientists it can get in the next few decades. And so I absolutely encourage you, um, if you did not win an award, not to be discouraged, uh, to be inspired by the work you've done, the work those around you as inspired as I am of the work you have done. Um, once you get out into college and beyond, um, those of you in the Commonwealth, I hope you will consider joining and working with us in the Virginia Academy of Science um, to support and expand your career as much as possible. We are a resource and we are here to help you um, however we can. 
So uh, I also would like to congratulate Sejong on his outstanding leadership. Um, he correctly noticed that uh, I had a little bit of a heart attack in his what sounded like retirement address. I knew we had done a reappointment and I got the impression maybe he didn't know we had done a reappointment for a few seconds in there. So I am grateful um, for his continued leadership and I look forward to continue to work with him in the years to come. So again, on behalf of the Senior Academy, thank you for all of your work and I implore you to keep working hard um, in a career in the sciences. Thank you. And I believe Alan now picks up from here. I had myself muted. It wouldn't be a Zoom presentation. I was about to say, good, good for you. It's, been, it's only been a year. We haven't figured this out yet. <laughs> yeah. I've only had Zoom classes for a year and I still can't work the software. We're almost at the end of our program today and I'd like to thank all of you for attending as we wrap this up. It is my great pleasure to present your slate of Virginia Junior Academy of Science officers for the upcoming 2021 to 2022 year. Your co-presidents will be Harish Ganesh of Thomas Jefferson High School and Armand Latif of Colgan High School. Your vice president, Charlotte Cunningham of Washington Liberty High School. Your secretary, Lasaya Konidala of Mills E. Godwin High School. Your communications liaison, Ashwin Jory of Collegiate School. Your co-editors in chief of the VJS Voice, Eugene Kim of Central Virginia Governor School, Karina Peachy of Massanutten Regional Governor School, and also on the VJS Student Advisory Committee, Yash Saxena, Nitya Kumar, Akul Miryala, Carolyn Klotz, Chirayu Nimonkar, Pranav Jyoti, and Lillian Sun. I would encourage any students to participate as officers in the Junior Academy of Science. It's a great opportunity, not only to learn about how the Academy works and see some exceptional research by your peers throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia, but also a great opportunity to get involved in science education and science advocacy. But that's about it for today. So again, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next year. We'll be hosted virtually with the support of the College of William and Mary again. So massive shout out to them. But most importantly, I'd like to encourage all of you to persist in citizen science. It's been a tough year. We don't know necessarily where we're going from here. That's true of any year, not just ones marked by extraordinary circumstances. But with the Virginia Junior Academy of Science, you have an opportunity to learn a little bit about yourself and what science means to you. Even if you don't end up in a career in the sciences, there's a good chance you'll encounter science in your daily life. I know there's always need for science journalists and even just people who understand what pe other people say when they talk about their research project. So even if you didn't win today, and especially if you did win, never let your passion for science die out just because you've moved beyond a research project. There will be a VJS post awards gathering. The Zoom link is now in the chat. Uh, if anyone would like to join. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That is something totally different. Um, again, congratulations to participants, winners alike. We'll see you next year.